All right. Got a uh, really neat clip here for you today. We're going to be looking at some honking August Vintage cushions. Now, just to let you know what we have in front of us here um, thus far, the diamond on the left is a 319, and that one is an MVS1, okay? And the diamond on the right is a 3 carat KSI1. Both of these are totally iClean August Vintage cushions. Um, the primary difference you're seeing here between these two in particular, the August Vintage cushion on the left is rectangular while the one on the right is more square. All right, and now this 319 happened to be mounted in a ring and sideways. So just to kind of show you what, uh, I, you know, there are people who like mounting these sideways in rings. We just did it for display in the showcase and it is gorgeous. Um, I personally don't like these mounted sideways, but, but that's just my own personal preference. I know there are people who do like them mounted sideways. So, it is cool. And this is, uh, <laughs> this is no slouch of a ring either. And here's an M in a uh, platinum, well, I'm not sure if this is, yeah, this is a platinum setting. It's an antique styled setting. And, um, okay, but I'm showing you up, you know, in the uh, upward, downward, or I should say, uh, in the more vertical view. Because that's how I would mount it, personally. All right. So there is that comparison of these two diamonds. And now what we're going to do is I'll leave the 319 out in the ring, just for a size reference. Uh, and then we got another diamond to show you here, which is a four carat, four seventeen NSI two, coming right up. Okay. So there's the three nineteen for a size reference, and here is this four seventeen. Honk honk. <laughs> this is some diamond. Uh, absolutely spectacular uh, August vintage cushion. Again, uh, notably larger. All right, and in a good uh, a good SI stone too, uh, no inclusions that are going to jump out at you. This thing is just a hall of mirrors. I mean, it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Bold reflections of light. All right, I'll see if I can get all three of them here in the in the, in the view since I have the ring in my hand. But uh, well, not for nothing, but look at how that four carat just dwarfs the three carat uh, this, in this comparison. All right. And, there's the, <clears throat> and then there's the 319. All right. Wow. Three absolutely magnificent diamonds. All right. Now, just a little note about this four carat. This one does go on a little bit more on the um, champagne side than it does, say, the yellow side. Okay, and I think the same could be said for that 319 as well. The three carat on the far right graduates to a, um, a, a very, very faint yellow, but is probably is definitely the whitest diamond in this lineup. Okay, so the four and a quarter and the 319 take on um, a little bit more of the champagne-ish. The four carat are a little bit more so. Here's the three carat in the side by side. And there you go, you got the idea. Okay? Absolutely all, all spectacular uh, diamonds. And, and of course, if you want this 319 uh, not in this setting, we'll dismount it from the setting for you too, of course. All right. So thanks for watching. I hope this has helped. And some absolutely magnificent eye candy to look at here. Woo! <laughs> Bye-bye now.